Yo what's going on guys, JBH here and welcome back to MotoGP18 for another episode here on this career mode. We are still, as you can see, in the Red Bull Rookies Cup. We're around, I think, halfway through the first season in this career mode. And unfortunately, last time out, we came so close to getting our first win at the Saxon Ring. Unfortunately, made a mistake with just two corners to go. And well, that's all she wrote. We ended up finishing, I think, third in the end. Now moving on to the next weekend where hopefully we can start to get some good results and get towards that all-important first, well, first win, but also towards the top of the championship so that we can look to get a good ride in Moto3 for the next season. All right, here we go. Hello and welcome to the Red Bull Ring Circuit. Just a few minutes to go and the Austrian Grand Prix will finally begin. The skies over the track are clear of clouds and the latest weather reports forecast temperatures in line with the seasonal average. So, first up today on this episode is, of course, as you can see, the Red Bull Ring, otherwise known as the Austrian MotoGP Grand Prix. So, we have managed to put it on pole, and by a full second. So, yeah, as I was getting to, we have managed to put it on pole by a full second. I do seem to have quite good pace here, so hopefully this can be the, the well, be the breakthrough that we want and be our first win to get us so well ever so close to the top of the championship so not much else to talk about we'll just go straight into this first race as you can see 137.2 this is one of the shorter tracks on the MotoGP calendar and it is definitely one of the most picturesque is the word I was trying to get out picturesque circuits on the calendar I must admit this would be one of the coolest tracks to go see and and be as well be a spectator at for either MotoGP or F1 you can really see a lot of the track from that sort of turn one exit grandstand alrighty here we go come on Ah, crap start. It's so hard, like, with everyone having the exact same suit and uh, paint scheme, you don't know who the hell each stri or each rider is. Uh, beep beep. Oh, nailed. Just have to skip over that curb. Oh, big dive bomb. Fucking hell. No, this is not what I wanted. Oh, Jesus, understeer. Beep beep. Oh, what a crazy first lap. Oh shit, what the hell? What on earth happened there? Did we? We must have just ever so slightly tapped the back of him because that was so weird. I have not low sided all weekend and we must have just tapped the back of that guy going into that corner. So there's these big green sausage curbs on the exit of each of these uh, hairpins or right, sort of right-handed corners, or right-angled corners, I should say. And uh, if you just touch them, they're actually quite useful. But if you hit them and go over the top of them, you can end up like Yaka Cornfield at Le Mans or wherever the hell it was he rode over the, the side of someone. God, I keep missing my gear changes. It's so hard to hear my bike among, well, amongst everyone else's from this third-person view. Ah, oh, don't kill me. What the hell? Oh, <laughs> that's one way to 
past two bikes in one corner. Ah, oh my god. This is not the advised way to pass someone down the straight. Oh my god. Stop touching me! I just can't get through the traffic. Seriously getting held up. Oh, wow, they really have no aggression at all. Alright, so we're just over halfway there, and we are up into 11th, so the lead is actually not that far away. At this rate, we should hopefully be able to get back somewhat oh God, onto a uh, podium position. Oh my god, no! I've low-sided again! Oh, shit. Alright, that time was completely my fault. It's getting too aggressive under brakes. Damn it! Alright, well, we've definitely got a little bit of damage now. We're not as fast as what we were before, so... I think the best we can get out of this race is a top 10. Keep trying though. Alright, two laps to go, come on. Oh, go away. Oh my god, what the fuck, Joseph? Alright, spoke about those frickin' sausage curbs in the beginning, but I didn't think they were that bad. For the third frickin' time this race... Oh, I just had, oh my god, fuck. Well, and after that final crash, unfortunately, we uh, had too much damage to continue. I just... Ah, oh, so annoying when you're like a second a lap quicker than everyone else. I mean, look at that, 36.9. We're literally like a second... Point, well, 1.2 seconds quicker than the whole field, but low-sided by just tapping the back of someone. I mean, that should have been our race to win, and now we dropped all the way down to 7th in the championship when we could have, well, I mean, quite easily gotten into the top 3, but, wow, that really, really, really sucks. Anyway, time to move on to the next one. Greetings from the Marco Simoncelli World Circuit in Mezzano, where the San Marino Grand Prix is about to begin. The weather is great and the temperature is perfect for racing, so we're just waiting to find out which riders have opted for hard tyres and which riders have opted for soft. Alrighty, here we go, back at Misano once again. Now this race is going to be a hot one, as you can see, 37 degrees track temp, and we have managed to put it on pole once again, and once again by a pretty big margin, so hopefully today, we, uh, well, in this race we can have better luck. So I don't actually know this track too well off the top of my head, so I did have to run quite a lot in practice to get this track down, but managed to get it somewhat down now. It is definitely one of the harder tracks on the calendar. It's got a mixture of sort of high speed and low speed, quick change of directions, and uh, should prove for some pretty interesting racing. Although, of course, getting the pole by quite a long margin we just want to get away from this pack whenever I seem to get stuck in the park uh, stuck in the pack I seem to <laughs> always get screwed over so come on we just got to get away and get a win desperately need to get a win to get back towards that top three in the championship 
Alrighty, here we go, race two, San Marino. Oh, another shit start. Alright, gonna be a little bit more aggressive on the start this time by not give up so many positions on lap one. Seemed to be really quick in the last sector, but the first and second sector been struggling in. Make up a lot of the time in the that third and final one. Oh, come on. Gosh, this race um race session is a lot hotter than what it was in qualifying and the morning warm-up, so it'll take me a while to get used to the conditions. It's a little bit of a two bike breakaway in the lead. This is incredibly fast. Even on a epoxy little Red Bull rookie's bike, it is uh, <laughs> quite quite a lot of pace you're carrying into that sort of double right-hander. Oh, we're going to drop out of the top three here. Ah. Sick of getting passed in like halfway through the corner like that. It really screws up my exit. Not a smart idea, Joseph. Holy crap. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Alright, so we're halfway there, holding on to sort of the third place position in the final podium spot but just can't make any inroads on the leader right now or leaders Alright, so last lap now. Unfortunately, I think I've left this sort of late race charge a little bit too late, so we're just not quite close enough to the leaders right now to have a chance at the win, but if we can just hold on, we should hold on to the podium. I just haven't had anywhere near the same race pace as what I did over one lap in qualifying. The front two sort of got away early, and I haven't been able to do anything ever since, but a uh, pretty depressing race, to be honest. But Plenty more races to come. We're going to have one more left on this episode after this one. Where I'm just hoping I can finally break this sort of ghost of a win that's eluding me. Uh, this is my ninth race now on MotoGP 18. We still haven't managed to win one yet. Lacking that grip now, used it all up. Oh, ah, that was a bit cheeky. <laughs> Are we gonna hold on? Far out, almost lost the podium on that last lap, just ran out of grip. Alright, cool, so we will get a podium <laughs> out of this one, which is uh, better than, well, better than what we had in the last race, that's for sure.
While we wait for the cameras to take us to the park, so, to meet the stars four the seconds off. We did have the fastest lap. The um, yeah, definitely nowhere near as consistent as the front two. I sort of picked up the pace towards the end. Second, third, last lap, sort of used up the most part of my tire. But yeah, that was uh, that was not fun. That sort of first couple of laps just could not get the bike going on the long run. It was yeah, as I said, a bit of a depressing race, but plenty more to come alrighty here we go it's looking like another hot racetrack we are here in Aragon for what is the final race of this first season in the Red Bull Rookies Cup so after this race we will see where we ended up in the championship and also decide on which team to run in Moto3 in the next season of this MotoGP 18 career mode but first it's time to focus on hopefully getting our first win I mean <laughs> It's been eight races now, and I really, really want to get a win in this Red Bull Rookies Cup before moving on to Moto3. Now, we have got the pole in this race, and once again, we've only... Well, actually, no, this time we've only just managed to scrape in uh, with a pole position. Around here, it's a two-minute lap time, and we only just got pole by three-tenths, so three-tenths on over a two-minute lap is virtually nothing, so we're going to try and... Hopefully not let the two leaders get away like they did in the last race and hopefully be in that sort of pack of guys at the front and hopefully not get shuffled out too much. All right, here we go. Last race in the Red Bull Rookies Cup here on MotoGP 18. And let's just try and get a win. We've had like the last five pole positions in a row. Just really, really want to get a win before we move up into the Moto3 category and move on towards our charge to MotoGP. All right, come on. I really got to get a good start in this one. Ah, bad reaction timing. Up to fifth already, come on. Oh, Jesus. Wow, they really check up in the middle of that corner. The AI I'm talking about. Come on. Jesus, hold on to it. So it looks like the same two riders are starting to make an early break and it's a sharp apex which on a like a motorbike game with a controller is not <laughs> not easy to get oh go away no fuck it just ruined my whole run onto the straight Urgh! God damn it, that guy is really starting to freaking piss me off. It's the second lap in a row he's cost my run onto the straight. Oh, go away. Yep, that's what you get. <laughs> Sick of getting fucking dive bombed in the middle of the corner. Oh, God, for God's sake. I'm so good through the first sector, it's the middle sector that I suck. Oh my god, every time, every single time I try and get a, <laughs> I try and just take that corner normally, I just get absolutely dive bombed. Oh you fucking, ah oh, the AI on this game, I swear to god gonna be the death of me two laps to go and then it's fucking hell because usually they they were dive bombing me going on the inside on that sort of corner leading onto this straight so I thought maybe I'll go wide let him get the um have the inside 
so that he can so I sort of get him back on the exit of the corner, but no, sure enough, he happened to be the outside that time, and, uh, well, uh, down to bloody seventh with uh, one lap to go. Oh my god, I, I am just so done with the AI on this game. God. This is so frustrating. Well, after running the whole race in third, we get wrecked out once again. And we finish in six. Man, I'm so glad to get out of this class, although I feel like Moto 3 is going to be just as bad. Oh, man. As the stars of this what a frustrating season. So, season one in Moto GP 18 in the Red Bull Rookies Cup, we managed to finish fifth in the end. Should have really finished a lot higher. Yeah, it's going to be a tough season next season in Moto 3 because we are not, well, probably not going to be in one of the higher teams having finished fifth in the Red Bull Rookies Cup. So, here we go. View offers. Here are the offers for Moto3. So we got Patrona Sprinter Racing, RBA Bo Skull Rider Team, Marinelli, uh, what else we got? Real Avintia, Honda Team Asia. But I will reveal which team I've selected for Moto3 next season in the next episode, so definitely stay tuned for that as we begin Season 2 on this MotoGP 18 career mode. Thanks once again, guys, for tuning in. Stay tuned for the next season. And until next time, I'll catch you later.